everyone, we're in beautiful Brisbane today. Done a bit of game hunting in EB, JB, and CEX. Got a few games, a bit of variety. So what we'll do, we're gonna look through the videos in a minute. They say Brisbane's perfect one day, beautiful the next. It's a bit grey today, but yesterday was lovely anyway. So we're gonna go and have a few beers at the moment, but yeah, enjoy the pickups video. Thanks for tuning in. All right, that was like two weeks ago that I was in Brisbane. Last week I dedicated the weekend to playing some of my other top 10 video games. It's in the video before this one, so if you haven't watched that video, I want to see a bit of gameplay footage and some of my favourite games of all time. You can check that out. But today, it's all pickups video. I know I did pick up a bit of variety. Got some Xbox, PlayStation 2, 3, 4, 5. Got some Switch, GameCube. Yeah, a bit of everything actually. Even really old retro 1970s toy as well, so... We'll go get to that in a minute now. We'll start off with the Xbox 360 games. Now I've got this Dead or Alive 2 Extreme. Now I've got Scarlet on number three on the PS4, but I haven't played it since yet. But I wanted to check this one out. This is um, one of those ones with all the mini games with all the girls from Dead or Alive. So yeah, I haven't had a ch chance to check that out. So I definitely will today or tonight. Um, yeah, it seems like a little bit of fun, you know, it's like sort of right up my alley. So it's like that sort of cheap, fun sort of stuff. So yeah, that's Dead or Alive. Extreme 2, that was one of the more expensive games I bought, I think it was like $20 for that one. Um, the next Xbox 360 is what's on behind me, is Prince of Persia, so there's a few, few properties that I'll always pick up when I see them, things like Prince of Persia, um, anything comic related, Batman, Spider-Man, um, things like, uh, what, what else would there be, like sort of um, Burnout, Star Wars, X-Men, yeah, things like that, so in this case it's Prince of Persia, I think the demo is not running behind me. It might come up here and there, but yeah, this is when I saw this one. I haven't got this one already, so I think there's a version of this on the DS as well, which I wanted to get. So, yeah, Prince of Persia that's on the Xbox 360 as well. We've got this Connect game, Star Wars. I didn't realize they had one, so the controller you are. Unfortunately, the, the Xbox 360 behind me is the NTSC version, and this it won't play this, this region, this power version. Sometimes they play games and sometimes they don't, so it's a bit disappointing. Now I've got to shuffle in all my machines and maybe get a second connect. Um, so that's Star Wars. That'll be a bit of fun, sort of, you know, playing with the Force and, and lightsabers in front, of the, in front of the sensor. So, yeah, I didn't have the manual, and I, I don't see too many online with the manual, so I've got to suss that out as well. And the final Xbox 360 game got is this Golden Axe game. And as I said previously about titles, I'll always buy. Golden Axe was always one of my favourite games in the arcades growing up, like that, and Double Dragon. This one's a promotional copy, as you can see here, so it doesn't have a manual. But the disc is pretty much just white. Um, yeah, it's, it's good. I like it. I'd put it on a bit, yes, I just sort of saw the gameplay, so yeah, that's Golden Axe there. All right, the other Xbox, this is for the original Xbox. Again, another title which I'll always buy is Pitfall. So this one looks like a pretty old, back to the 2600 days, I used to love Pitfall, and I've always followed it since then. And it even includes Pitfall and Pitfall 2, so definitely a game that I'll put some time into and, and check it out. One of my favorite sort of titles and, and series, for sure. All right, the next game is on the Switch. So I wanted to buy a Switch game. They're still quite expensive, but I got this one at half price at like $22. Now, as I grew up on the Amiga 500, I had the Gianna sisters on that, and obviously it's a bit of a, you know, a take on Mario Brothers, but it's a little 2D side-scrolling platform game, and I used to love it back then, so when I saw this one, it was like, yeah, I've got to have that one for my collection as well, so I've got that on out in the other room at the moment, so when I wrap up this video, I've got this one on, I've got Batman, and I've got some other games that I'm going to hit up today once I get this video done. Now, we'll work backwards from the PS5, so I've got this... I always seem to get Tom Clancy games. I know there's just something about them that I want to play one day. And this one was real cheap. This is like $9, brand new. So got this one from EB Games. And I just thought, you know what? I'll have it and see what a, a Tom Clancy's game looks like on the PS5 on 4K. So I think it'll be a really, really incredible. So I got that one, picked that one up cheap. And another game that I've been wanting to get for a long time for the VR2 is this Townsman game. I picked this up at half price at EB with $30, which is good. Um, yeah, it's sort of like a, a little built city building game, I guess, sort of, I don't know if it's similar to SimCity or anything like that, but basically you use your, your controller to sort of place towns and 
get people moving, all that kind of stuff. So that sounds like a really good game. So I'm happy to have a, a, a physical copy of the VR2 game. So that's, that's Superman Townsman VR. I did pick up one PS4 game, and that's Final Fantasy 15. I haven't played pretty much no Final Fantasy since like number seven on the PS2 years and years ago. So I saw this one, $5. I thought it's 15, 16's just come out. So I thought if I'm gonna play some Final Fantasy, I thought I'd check out a cheap game and the one just before it. So yeah, that's Final Fantasy 15. I put it on at the moment. It's got a, like a 30 gig update anyway. So we just gotta hang around for that and check that out. So yeah, that's Final Fantasy 15 on the PS4. Now I've got a PS3 game as well. Okay, this is another one I've wanted for a long time. This is Arkham Asylum, and it's a um, really nice nice copy. You can sort of see Welcome to the Madhouse there with the Joker, so this will be a sick game to, to, to play for sure. And um, yeah, PS, nice, good quality, good condition PS3 game, so that's Batman Arkham Asylum. I've got that on out there at the moment, actually. <laughs> so I've got them all, I've got the PS4 on, the, I haven't got the 5 on yet, I've got the Switch on, the PS4 and the PS3, so. There's a few games for me to play today. So that's Batman Arkham Origin, uh, Arkham Asylum. I've got a couple of PlayStation 2 games. This one, Intellivision, um, it's got over 60 Intellivision games. Now I don't have an Intellivision, I'm not likely to buy one. So this gives me basically a huge library of Intellivision games. And I do love the old school sort of, you know, real sort of early video gaming. So yeah. Really happy to have that one too. This one's got the manual. I've got this one pretty cheap, like six dollars or something. So yeah, that's really good. So I'll go upstairs probably tomorrow and play some PS2. And the other PS2 game I got was another old school nostalgic thing for me was Thunderbirds. So I used to get up early in the morning and watch some Thunderbirds cartoons when I was young. I think it was I think it was like the first one off the rank at like six AM. Ben Anza was on at five thirty, then Thunderbirds used to be on at six, so yeah, I've always loved Thunderbirds. I used to collect those little metal toys when I was young. Actually, at one of the retro stores, I've got a game that I bought there before. They had these sort of um, action figures in the packet and I was gonna go back on the, the day we left to pick them up, but I didn't, so yeah. I thought it'd just be cool to have on the wall some Thunderbirds action figures. But yeah, I did pick up this one. Thund the Thunderbird 2 was always my favorite, which is, I think it's that one there, Thunderbird 2. So yeah, that's pretty nice little condition game too. You can see it's got the manual. All right, and then I did just get one Wii game. There weren't many Wii games, actually. I, um, yeah, the, the, the only one that sort of looked semi-interesting was this one. I don't really know, Overlord Dark Legend. As I said, it, when I looked on the back, it just looked like something that I sort of like to play on the Wii. And yeah, they most of it's all, yeah, just sort of stuff that I already had or was sort of overpriced, so there's that one. Yeah, Overlord on the Wii. And I got a GameCube game too, so I went on to the CX website and I saw that Brisbane had a GameCube game that I wanted to get. So this one's Turok um, Evolution. So this is a first person shooter. Uh, what I can do is just, I've got it on behind me. So we'll just put it on. It is that one. I'm gonna get some other games to see it too, I forgot about. Uh, almost. almost forgot about the DS games. Yeah, so Back in the 90s, I collected Turok. It was a real big thing. Um, one of the most heavily printed books was Turok, number one. Beautiful chromium cover. And yeah, this one's on behind me. I haven't got too many GameCube games, but this is my second one. So yeah, sort of really storming through the collection there. So yeah, I thought I'd pick it up. It had the manual stuff in it. So I think I paid 25 for this one. So yeah, I was happy to have it in store. So I picked up that one. All right, and then I got a few DS games. I'm always looking for some DS stuff. And the first game I picked up was this Scooby-Doo game. Um, this is First Fright. So again, just happy to have some little, some new games for my DS. So that's really cool to have that one. So that's Scooby-Doo on the DS. And another game, I didn't really know too much about this title. It was just cheap and I do like Lego games. So I thought, uh, yeah, like I said, this was like six or $7, I think. So this is um, Chima Laval's Journey, Laval's Journey, I'm not sure, but as against a cheap game for the for the um for the collection and this game was also on their website and they had it in brisbane i was hoping they had it in stock and this is rainbow island so when i was a teenager rainbow Islands was probably one of my favorite games on the amiga 500 i'm sure i finished it and i was so ocd about getting all the fruit all the points the maximum points per level and now i've got i didn't realize it was one of the ds so i've got that 
and apparently you can use your stylus to to make the rainbows as you sort of go up the go up the, go up the um the level so real fr frothing to play that game so rainbow island man can't wait to play that that's sick and then i did get a, a 3ds game i don't have a 3ds yet but i sort of pick them up here and here and there for when i do get one eventually um again they're pretty expensive the 3ds game so i just grabbed this one monster hunter generations it looked sort of interesting something i'd probably give it give a try so that's that one there monster hunters generations now i was talking about that retro shop that had those action figures so i picked this one up which is it's called drive yourself crazy so this is a 1976 game you know i paid 45 dollars for it unfortunately i didn't really want to switch it on because so i had a feeling it wouldn't work and it doesn't work so I pulled it apart last yesterday, just having a look at it. There's like an electric mode that runs this sort of this sort of screen thing here, and as you steer the car, so maybe the motor's broken. So my dad's a bit of an electronic guru, so I'm sure he can sort of you know sort of suss out what the problem is. So, but still, 1976. It's a Tommy game, as you can sort of see over there. So they used to make a lot of that stuff, and I do want to start collecting. I shouldn't, but I do want to start collecting some of these old sort of, you know, real nostalgic old school 70s toys. And yeah, this is, you know, you know I love the driving game, so this is as simple as it gets. Maybe there's even more simple, but yeah, that looks pretty cool. You know, you've got reverse here, and there's no battery at the moment. But it's in pretty good condition, really, for something from 1976. That's what, nearly 48 years old or something like, 47 years old. Sick man, so yeah, I'm happy to have that one on the display. Now, there's a couple of games that I was looking for in Brisbane that I didn't, couldn't find, so I ended up going on eBay and getting them. I got these. Now the first game was was basically I was in in the computer room just looking through this. And I, this is an old PC game that I had, Trap Mania, and I just sort of just eBayed, just wondering if there was actually a console version of it. And to my surprise, there's a PS4 version, which is also VR compatible. So happy! This is like fifteen dollars. Put it on for a little bit yesterday. You know, I love all racing games, driving games, like things like, you know, yeah, like t RC cars, Formula One, Rally, everything, man. So this is so, so cool. And I picked this up for like 15 bucks, so really happy with that. And I also got another VR game. I saw this on someone else's channel, Concrete Genie. So it's a really arty sort of style game. And the graphics in it look amazing, so I, you do need the move control, which I don't have, so I'm sort of sussing out a nice move control at the moment. See if I can get one cheap or one in the box. I'm not sure what to do, so no rush to play that one. So, yeah, that's Concrete Genie there. Looks really, really interesting. I think he's a bit of an artist. He has a little book, and I think these bullies sort of rip his book apart and throw the pages. You've got to look for the pages, something like that. So, yeah, really interesting. And then the final game that I got was another sort of drop racing game, and this is called Groove Ride on the PS2. Now this is a slot car racing sort of game and I love slot cars. I grew up with like AFX and Skeletric and I've still got my AFX set up s tracks upstairs which I do set up every now and then to get the cars around the track. That's my aim, just to get all the cars around the track, clean the track and stuff. So yeah, this is an old slot car game. I love them so I wanna, I love watching slot car tracks and that on, on YouTube and just seeing these massive setups and races and stuff, it's so cool. The cars are so expensive too for these for AFX, so I was gonna buy some but they're so expensive. But anyway, now I can play it on the PS2. So that's Groove Rider. All right, that's pretty much all the games. I've got a couple coming today. I, got, I think I've got one coming off Amazon. Amazon's got some great stuff and nice and cheap and they also deliver really fast. Now I do have one more thing to show you, I think. I just make sure there's nothing else. I'm gonna turn the camera around and just show you this little sort of setup that I got. Now I got this nail polish um, display, uh, display stand off Amazon. They have different um, number of tiers. So this is a five tier one, and it really works well to display my Game Boy and to store my Game Boy game. So it's also got some DS stuff in there as well, but yeah, really nice, like $30. It come from China in about like maybe nearly almost a bit under two weeks. So for me, this is a perfect way to sort of, yeah, to sort of display it. It looks really, really cool. So yes, it was, it used to be in this sort of dark section in here. So I've got to organize to get sort of stands for these two colors as well. And then there's just the, that's the, the DS sort of section up there. All right, that's cool, man, love it. All right, it's the morning of the giant Glenray garage sale. It's about 10 to six. 10 to 7 and as you can see on the garden beds it's frost so it's like three degrees really cold so 
in our little village there's a whole lot of vendors and sales set up so we're going to walk around this morning see what we can find i honestly don't expect to find anything but i thought we got to get out there it happens once a year so yeah we'll see what we can find beautiful morning it's a beautiful sunny day i think it's going to be huge today so we'll see what happens all right we'll walk around and you know take a trip with me today all right see you in a sec all right we've had a semi-successful trip as you can see there's plenty of cars on the road didn't get too much not too many video games around at all more talk of it than anything anyway we'll see fucking we'll see what happens i think that's it for today anyway hope you like the video not much but you're gonna gotta get out there because you never know all right one thanks for watching today's episode see ya and last weekend also on the saturday we had our yearly uh garage sale in our town so it's a big event so i'm gonna to show you the pickups from that i didn't get too much probably more than i thought but not as much as i hoped now i did get a few xbox 360 games off this little kid i got halo 4 um i got batman beyond gotham and another lego game which is um jurassic park and i picked up this rally game colin mccray dirt just i thought it'd be fun maybe to play it on with the uh speed wheel out the back so yeah i thought you know i love the rally game so that's gonna be cool got that and also i got his xbox 360 as well you know he had it there for 50 bucks it didn't have the controller or anything with it i got the power pack for it but i just thought you know 50 dollars i'll just pick it up i might put this one upstairs and then i can sort of set a connect up on that so i picked up that xbox 360 got a ps2 game for like two dollars ratchet and clank this one's locked and loaded so clean up all right this was pretty dirty and off the same guy i got this dark knight dvd sort of limited collector's uh, edition says like up to three thousand so dark knight's probably one of the greatest of the batman movies seems a little bit sticky in here and that i'm not sure I'll, it's sealed so i thought i might just leave it and just chuck it at the back maybe i can resell it one day so that's that one and then I got a toy off him as well, this little Harley Quinn figure. I'm gonna <coughs> pop this out of the box and put that on display in a minute, so that's cool. So now I'm gonna store this thing away. Now, I got a TV with a DVD player in it for like 20. I got this old computer monitor for like five bucks. One interesting story was I was at one of the stores and I was asking for video games and this lady's like, oh yeah, we're looking for video games too. And then he had a little, she had a little boy there and he's like, and, and, and I go, what are you looking for? And he's like, oh, Nintendo. And I said, what, Switch? He's like, nah. And I go, what, 64? He's like, nah, Game Boy. And I'm thinking, what an eight, nine or 10 year old. I think he probably would eight or nine, you know, looking for Game Boy games. That's incredible. I thought, good on you, brother. And then I went to this other place, a place where I picked up the TV and the man's there. I was talking to the woman and the man, he, anyway, he said he had like a Star Wars Nintendo 64 that was in the box with a heap of games and he wouldn't, he, did, he, he didn't want to sell that at all and I was just like whatever you know what can you do I wouldn't sell it either so yep all right I thought I'd add this little bit in just to set of making a new video a new video on the on the pickups like I said it wasn't nothing too exciting but you got to get out there you never know you got to ask and I did make a contact with a lady so I got her card and she's already got a few games set aside for me next time she comes out she did mention switch which is unusual then when I asked her, then she didn't sort of show me any switch games so maybe Maybe she kept them for herself or something. She, she resells records and vinyl and cassettes and all that and DVDs and stuff like that. So actually, I do need to ask her if she's got any VHSs. So anyway, that's today's video. Thanks very much. And if you're interested in this sort of content, we've got lots coming up. Big gameplay. I'm hoping to do a Gran Turismo 7 video soon. Still learning how to use my, um. you can sort of see it over there. Seeing how to use the, st uh, use the, the, the stand and the paddles and the shifter and all that kind of stuff, learn the track, so yeah, hopefully we can do that. But today's gonna be a good day and put all the stuff away, play some video games, get this video up uploaded. So yeah, subscribe to the channel. I don't know, do it for subscribers, but if you, you know, if you can support the channel, just hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button as well. You know, I want to try to see if we can get to 100, stuck around the 80s, it's all good though. It's a bit of fun for me and yeah, I love it. Love collecting, love playing, love it all. So yeah, you can see I've got Pitfall behind me on the, um, on, on the original Xbox. Had trouble with this disc, it doesn't read all the time. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. 
it worked in the Xbox 360 anyway. So anyway, thanks very much. Have a good week and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy everyone. Ciao, ciao, ciao.